This is a crazy hill to die on, I am aware. I don't even like kids smooth for real. Black em, black em, black em. Don't give a fuck, shit of mind your business. Black em, black em, black em, black em. Pussy ass niggas better stay out of my mentions. Now, they're probably gonna try to get me out the paint for this video, but y'all gotta know by now, I don't give a fuck. So, let's get into it. A lot of y'all are moving like the cookie monster in the community right now, because y'all doing anything for a cookie. No, you don't get a cookie! Because let's be honest, you guys don't care. You don't care. Now, let's see what Smooth said. He asked, was this woman American? Which, I'll say, I do think there was some racism going on here, you know, especially talking about the ops, this and that, you know what I'm saying? But, if it was a white man or a white woman, I can confidently say, I don't think Kid Smooth would have asked this. I'm not defending this tweet here, right? But, I'm not gonna lie. In today's climate, where China trying to take over the world, they trying to get the US dollar out of here, they buying up everything, you can't make an electric car without China because they own some shit in Africa, it's a whole other video. I can see why Smooth would ask this, even if it's got a little, it's, 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 it's a little racist, right? But I can see why he would ask it, especially since he's asking this about the American Federal Trade Commissioner, right? But still, I don't co-sign this, right? All I'm trying to say is, in this community, this tweet here is light work. This is nothing compared to what I've seen in this community. I don't know why this community is trying to act like they have morals now and standards now. Crap gamer, Mooch, they was running around calling things Jap crap, calling people rice eaters, saying games that were coming were Japanese handouts. They were stalking people outside of Best Buy. Mooch was stalking people outside of Best Buy for not buying American. He was saying, yo, don't buy that good system over there. Buy this dog shit because it was made by Americans. I, I'm a little disappointed. I, I was tweeting this all day today. I don't see why, as Americans, we don't back our brand. Yeah. I, I mm. stood in line at uh, GameStop the other night. I'm picking up Destiny. I turned to the kid behind me. Instead of hitting him with the usual hate, I hit him with, tell me why you're going to buy a – why should I buy a PS4? Tell me why I should buy a PS4. He sat there. He's like, uh, well, he's hemming and hawing back and forth. I said, don't you realize that, like, you're an American. You should be buying our products. And let's let's keep it a buck. Let's 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 not forget where Mooch came from. You, you are, I don't know. You know, before this logo here, I don't know what this is. But before this logo, he had the Uncle Sam logo. That was a little, you know, it was it was giving certain vibes. I say that. But now that they're PlayStation Meat Riders, of course they've changed. Oh man, they good guys now. Love them to death. Bro, they did not change. They changed because they were trying to cancel people, get people out of here, you know? You can't do the same shit they was doing before. PlayStation was bringing in the views and Super Chats. So they switched up. That's all that's about. They not changed. But you guys still go on the podcast every week. Still invite them on your podcast every week. I ain't trying to hear it. I've been telling BG, remember when I was in charge of the Weapon World guests for a month or two, right? By the way, the guest I picked for Weapon World, he's now a prominent member, so shout out, shout out BG. I told BG, you got it. The reason that started is because I said, bro, you can't be inviting Crap Gamer and Mooch on this show, bro. So it was like, yo, you picked the guest then. And I started picking the guest. People like every guest I bought on. Like I said, one of them's a main member now. But you guys do not care. Y'all want brownie points and likes. It's performative. This isn't a two things don't make a right situation because you guys don't care about either situation. Like I said, I'm not co-signing smooth. I don't watch Smooth, I don't follow Smooth, I don't find him funny, I don't find him entertaining. Niggas be saying that's my mans, that is not my mans. But if we're getting fours and races out of the community, then let's do it. Let's get JTEC out too. He send the bitches as me unsolicited. Y'all still be in Twitter spaces, letting them talk in there. Y'all saying, wow, Smooth, wow. Over plastic Smooth, wow. So low. But let's keep it real. Y'all looking on his ass because of plastic. If he wasn't an Xbox fanboy, y'all would let him cook. Because like I said, what he said is so small in comparison to what you guys actually let slide. Smooth for a small fee, I will become your PR agent. We're going to clean you up real nice. I'm going to give you the crap game of Mooch special, the rebrand of a lifetime. Listen, we're going to get you to bash Xbox a little, gas up PlayStation, so you've seen the light, and all this will blow over by the end of the week. You'll be in every podcast. People will love you. You'll get more super chats than ever. We know Planet Xbox went triple plastic around here. You got blessed red as a panel member you down bad but listen we're gonna get planet playstation popping everyone gonna want to pull up you can get any guess you want smooth so hey smooth tap in i'm gonna get you right either that or we turn up the racism right we're gonna start saying even crazier shit we're gonna start saying make xbox great again and we're just gonna lean into it. we're gonna get you a new audience we're gonna go to tucker carlson smooth is up to you tap in hit me up